All right, we are back for another video review Saturday. Last weekend took the weekend off, had some stuff going on, didn't have time to record, so I thought today we would take a look at the home video collection I have for A New Beginning. And I actually have a lot uh, a lot of stuff for this. I didn't realize it at the time, but I I collected a few things. So this is going to go a lot like it did for the video I did for part two, um, a lot of the same media I have uh, for a new beginning that I had for part two. So I'll just kind of run through what we have. And uh, here you see this is the uh, beta tape, the, which is of course the US beta tape release. Has the the hockey mask that we never see in the film. But they made a really cool um, promotional display for video stores that is pretty similar to this hockey mask. I'm sure you guys have, who, are, who collect have seen it um, on eBay. I don't think I've ever put it on the site though, but it lights up. It's kind of cool. But um, there's the back. And they fit the same images that are on the back of the US VHS on the back, but they kind of squished them down a little bit. So that's the beta tape. And here's the US VHS. Same cover. And as you can see, the same images, but it's longer. I think they, the top image with uh, Roy, they they uh, cut off a little bit for the beta tape to make it fit. So that's that. Then I have the um, the UK release for a New Beginning, and all the international releases pretty much have this cover, which I think is way better, and I think all the fans agree that this is the better cover that I wish they would have went with for the US release posters and the home video release covers, because I think it's great. And on the back, th this is the funniest description for the uh, the movie out of all the releases. Not only did they only put one picture on the back, but as you read the description, I think it's down here, it talks about, <laughs> it says, who is that stranger wearing a boiler suit and a hockey mask? And then it says, now a new killer is on the loose, not confining his activities to the Unker Institute, which of course isn't really where he's staying at. He's staying at, um, at um, Pinehurst. And Unger Institute was the name of the institute that brought him to Pinehurst, so I just thought that was funny that they got that wrong. Um, and then it says he's starting to kill townsfolk, which he doesn't kill townsfolk, but sort of, I guess he does. But anyway, so that's the back of the UK VHS release. And then I have, let's go, we'll go with this one. This is the German VHS. A little bit of glare there because it's all plastic on the front, so it's hard to see. So it's interesting, though, that the now that I've mentioned that all the international releases have the one with the young Tommy Jarvis on it. I guess I'm wrong uh, for saying that. This is the German release, and the German release used the pseudo hockey mask, much like the U.S. However, the back of their cover is kind of the same. Um, they have those two, but then they, this is a little different. They have the picture of, of Pam and Reggie down there by the ambulance. And what's different about the Japanese, I think all the Japanese VHS releases, is they actually um, list out the cast on, on the back of their covers. And this camera's not picking it up too well, but as you, you can see like Tommy Jarvis, and you can see all the actors that played them on there. So that's the German A New Beginning release. And then I have the Japanese A New Beginning VHS with that much cooler looking cover and of course my favorite uh, the Japanese lettering on top which makes collecting anything from Japan the, the coolest because I just love I love how the lettering is laid out on anything that they have now their the back of their cover is really really cool um, you can go through the, uh, let's see the image of young Tommy you don't usually see that on anything at all so it's cool just to have that on there uh, there's Violet, and everything else is in Japanese on the back, so, but you could tell that whoever owned this for the number of years, they, they used to have it stored like this, 
and they put, like, the sun was always on it because the sides faded, and I didn't realize that when I bought it. I probably would have went with something else, but... So that's Japanese VHS. And then since we looked at the Japanese VHS, I guess we'll go ahead and look at the Japanese Laserdisc right away, so we can do kind of a quick compare on that. And if you guys don't know this, if you haven't read any of the articles I've put on about Japanese Laserdiscs, or didn't watch the last video I did on the Part 2 collection I own, this thing on the side here of the Japanese Laserdisc can be removed. It's called an Obi Strip. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I never never really found out if I am, but it's an OB strip. And from what I've read, that OB strip is basically what they, the uh, stores would take off when they sold a product. And that's how they kept track of inventory, and that's how they would reorder more inventory, is they hold on to these little OB strips they take off. Now, I don't know if that's exactly true. That's what I've read, and I've read it a couple places online, and they all say the same thing. So I'm hoping that it's true. So, that's the OB strip, and we'll flip this over to look at the back side. And you can tell, if you do a comparison, that pretty much the back pictures are the same, except that one right there. And then, the cool thing about the back of the OB strip I just want to show you guys is it shows the previous movies that they have for sale, too, on the back, which I thought was cool. And the other interesting thing about the Japanese Laserdisc is the, the uh, interesting titles that they put on the different tracks. If you just, I, I don't know if I went through these on the Part 2 or not, but I just love some of the names they give to each chapter, like Opening Hatchet, Ice Pick, Emergency Stick... Um, Bomboro, I don't know what the hell that is. And then Spitting Magic Box, I'm still trying, I'll be honest, I haven't sat down to really try to figure out where that's at, but I think that's just funny to see on there. Anyway, so, they always have interesting uh, chapter titles in English on the back of the Japanese Laserdiscs. So, that is the Japanese Laserdisc. And then here is the U.S. Laserdisc with the same cover as all the US releases. And this is probably the worst shape I have of any of my any of my laser discs, Japanese or US. This one it's pretty faded. I think it was one of the first ones I ever bought when I started collecting these, so at some point in time I'll probably go out and try to get a better version cuz even if you can you can probably tell on top it's kind of worn. So, but anyways, it, this is the same back picture and covers that you saw on the VHS and beta version of the, the movie. And then, my last thing I have here is my CED uh, Select Division RCA vinyl disc movie, which, again, if you have never seen any of my articles on the website or have not or did not watch the part two video I had a couple weeks back. These are basically caddies that you would slide into a machine or a player and they have a vinyl record inside and that's it's kind of like a CD. Uh, I'm sorry. It's kind of like a laser disc how it works um, but it's a vinyl disc inside of this plastic caddy. Now this is my favorite CED, oh, I shouldn't say favorite, but this is probably worth more than the other ones because it still has the original plastic, you can probably see the shine and the glare on it, it still has the original plastic packaging on here which is awesome. And check out the price what they sold it for back in 1985 or 86, $30, just like they do for Blu-rays today. So, And if you look on the back of the CED cover, it's the same images that we've seen before and the same description, if I remember correctly. Um, on the CEDs, which there are four more of, and I'll show you guys here. You saw the part two on my other video. Only the part two and the part one have different backings than the VHS and Laserdiscs. The rest of them, part three, part four, and this one here, all have the same backings. So. Um, that's it. So that is my home video collection so far of A New Beginning. So if you have any questions, leave me a note on the website. If not, we'll see you next weekend. Take it easy. Bye.